three-game losing skid against Utah. Their longtime coach, Lavelle Edwards, has led the Cougars to 17 WAC titles and a national championship, but one goal has been elusive. That's playing on New Year's Day. Maybe this year, if they can win this game and then the WAC championship. They've got the firepower again with a quarterback named Sarkeesian who leads the country in pass efficiency. But in the way for Utah, a huge running back, Chris Puamatu Maafala, and a Utah team led by a quarterback with a surname you'll recognize who's making history for himself. Utah at home at Rice Field, a sold out stadium ready for the battle that dates back to the 1800s. And the standings in the Mountain Division look like this. BYU alone on top, but Utah can really mess up the plans of the Cougars. If they win today, they'd go on to meet Wyoming. Had trouble a year ago with four interceptions. He will throw the ball to everyone on his football team. But I really don't think that's the big story of this game. The last two years, BYU has rushed for 50 yards and less than 50 yards. If they don't rush better than that, over 100 yards, they won't win. Well, a guy that had over 100 yards last year, Chris Fuamatu Maafala, a huge guy who's got a knee problem, but they had a week off last week. He looks like he's ready to go. He is ready. He rushed for over 100 yards against this team last year. He practiced all week, and he's ready for this football game. And he's got a familiar name, Mike Fouts. Utah and BYU coming up in a moment. Who will receive? Ronnie Jenkins with a tremendous amount of speed. He is back deep for BYU. Rice Stadium is rocking already. And we're underway. Jenkins from the goal line. Across the 20. Jenkins straight up the middle and out to the 33 yard line. Let's check in with Adrian Karst. Brad, thanks very much. Very honestly, I don't think there's a lot of college football fans in the country that realize what a great difference Ron McBride has made here at Utah. Consider the turnaround. From only two wins in the WAC six seasons ago to three bowl games in the last four years. And nothing says more about his recent success here at Utah than this rivalry with BYU. Up until the last three seasons, the Utes have beaten the Cougars only twice in 20 years. But now that they've beaten them three years in a row, these people have developed a real passion for this game. After this play, I'll tell you how much so, Brad. From the 34, first down, BYU. And to give McKenzie. McKenzie cuts outside across midfield. And he's down inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. At the 31 of Utah. Nice play fake by Sarkeesian. Plenty of time to throw. Scans the field. No pressure at all. And now he'll run with it. So give Utah credit for what they did defensively in the secondary of seven. Sarkeesian changing things up for BYU. Track play, Jenkins, huge hole off the right side and down to the 11-yard line. He's got another first down. And Jenkins goes for 11 yards, and he and Lusk mix it up a little bit. Looking down an eight. The nine-yard line, long stretch play. McKenzie looking for a hole outside. Got to the five. Lusk came up from the secondary. Formation down here. Sarkeesian rolls. He's got one wide receiver out there to play with and has to throw it away. <laughs> 22-yard attempt is up and good. So BYU, impressive opening drive, stalls a bit at the end. They still get three out of it. Mike Fats and company from the 20. And Maafala got about three on the secondary. Fats wants to come up throwing over the middle, and he had a tight end. Jax wide open, missed him. Third down at seven here and four wide outs for Mike Fox from the shotgun. Scans the field over the middle. It's intercepted. Picked off by Mirabrook. And back to the 20 he goes. Fox waited, went over the middle again. Wasn't intercepted in this game a year ago and already picked off here five minutes in. He bounces his eyes the whole way. He's going to say, is there anything crossing? I'm going to eat it up. I'm either going to hit it or if he throws it right to me like this, I might catch it. Why not? <laughs> You know, there was just enough pressure in Fouts' face that time where he made an off-balance throw, and really, that was what Kenny Schiff told us was the goal in the game. Not necessarily sack, but just enough pressure to get into Fouts' face. So BYU with a three-point lead, and the ball back already from the Utah 20. Play fake, Sarkeesian rolls, getting a little bit of pressure. Now tucks it in, runs for five and out of bounds at the 15 for the Cougars so far this year. Whoa, maybe somebody jumped for the Utes. Yes, they did. Flags down, Sarkeesian's got a free play down the middle. Tight end hit, fumbled. Utah's covered. Yeah. But remember, the penalty appeared to be on the defensive line of Utah. Our referee, it is offside. 
not too wide. The single setback now. Sarkeesian's going out to him. Not too wide trying to put a move on in the backfield, and the only move he's got is going down. Robert Love, the linebacker. Two tight end set, as Gary said, nearly back in there with Lewis. Straight ahead and off the left side. McKenzie touchdown. Strong run as he kept his legs going and scores from 12 yards out. That is the difference between this football team at BYU in 96 and a year ago. They can run the ball in passing situations. The end, he runs right over Brandon Dark for the touchdown, but even getting the ball that far was excellent blocking by that offensive line. On the 20 again. Cross the 25 and near the 30 is Juan Johnson. And I can already Fouts has been intercepted once today. He wasn't a year ago. Off play action, wants to throw a comeback screen to Mahavala. And the big fella got popped as he got across the line of scrimmage. Henry Bloomfield. Third down conversion story for Utah. They've got a third down and three here. Four wide receiver group for Fouts who shifts Mahavala now into an empty backfield situation. And down goes Fouts. Had to wait too long. And Bloomfield again, a guy that was heavily recruited by Utah, ended up in Provo and has made back to back big plays. <laughs> They're going to try to keep it away from him. They just flat kicked that thing as far to the right side of the field as they could. He still picked it up. And he pays the price after about a two yard return. So he takes it on a hop to Sarkeesian's right at the bottom of your screen. Keep it on the ground. Boy, they're doing it with a running game. Gary said this to start the ball game today. McKenzie just battles his way for a first down. His dad was the defensive coordinator two years prior. He's now with the Raiders. And he said, this is to us, this is a different team because of two guys, McKenzie and Jenkins. They have speed in the backfield for BYU. He's a former BYU linebacker coaching against them today. Yep. He was ready to play yesterday, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was snorting in our meeting. Yeah, he didn't. He, the heck with his coaching. I want to get out We thought we were going to get clothesline. He's sitting at the table. <laughs> at the 48 of Utah, first down, BYU. Straight up the middle, a big opening again, and McKenzie cuts outside. Not knocked out until he got to the 26 yard line. Harold Lusk had to put a helmet on him, but he got 21 more yards. Yeah, a more speed. Mark Atuawai is the guy that was the starter at the beginning of this football season. These guys just have a little bit more speed for him. Kenzie and Jenkins are going to see a lot of action, and they got a good blocking fullback in Dustin Johnson. Second down eight. Jenkins on the delay. And again, he's into the secondary. He's going to be close to a first down before they finally wrap him up. Forward progress down to the 17-yard line, which is maybe a half yard short. And now already a little pushing and shoving going on. These two teams have been going at it since uh, 1896. And here in 1996. Ball, personal foul, number 35. No, he won't. Quarterback draw, and he slipped. And the ball is loose. Oh, boy, I think he hit the ground before I did that too. ball came loose. This is a critical play. But still no official signal. I think he was down. Field advantage. You know, Rod McBride told us yesterday, he said, I hope they slip all day. And you can see very clearly that that ball would hit, hit the ground and Sarkeesian was down. <laughs> <laughs> and Roger, Roger French, French a little upset. He's kicking the ground. And Cox is kicking the football through for another three for BYU most trouble with footing here so far. Adrian, you watch out with those cowboy boots on. Huh? First down, Fouts, deep throw, broken up. Oh. Omar Morgan, nice coverage out there on a pass intended for Rocky Henry. He's on offense and three yards to show for it. Here's a draw play. Mafala across the line of scrimmage, got about another yard, that's it. Third down and nine from the shotgun. Fouts throws a long sideline pass intended Second in the country in that category. Same strategy. Kick it away from him. I like Even. I like that. With only one guy back, just kick it in end over end and let it die. Got a decent bounce that time. Brown, they have 123 yards rushing in the game. <laughs> First quarter belongs to the Cougars. End of one from Rice Stadium. 13 to nothing. BYU in front. 
minutes, 13 seconds, all of last year. Look at that first quarter. Yeah. Right. Right. Not good. Not good. Unless you're BYU fan, That's then right. you're feeling good. Second down and eight to open the second quarter for the Cougars. Sarkeesian has not had to throw much. Back here, got some pressure, hung in, and throws complete. And a first down toss out near the 48 yard line. Kaipo McGuire in August when they start their two a days. A nope. round game with Brian McKenzie in gear for five more yards. He's leading 13 to nothing. And again, a counter. And this time Jenkins is stretched out. Love made the tackle, but nobody else made the play. But, <laughs> and he's playing over in Boulder. Third down eight. Sarkeesian's got a man open. Kayla Louie with the catch and looks like a first down at the 30 yard line. But BYU's been able to do. 157 yards total offense so far. McKenzie up the middle, and even the inside runs are getting positive yardage. Long count trying to draw Utah offside and then barrels ahead. Utah says they stopped him, but I don't think so. Well, you only need a couple of inches, and it looks like he got a couple feet. Games 36 times. On the ground again. McKenzie again. And almost six yards. He got inside the 15. Bring their big 300 pound lineman from the other side, and they've just been kicking out all day. McKenzie already over 100 yards rushing on the day. Second down and five, just inside the 15 of Utah. McKenzie again. Broke a tackle inside the 10, and he's got it first and goal. Brandon Dark is a motion man. Jenkins. Touchdown. How about this drive? 16 plays, 14 of them were on the ground. That's a new world record for BYU. Never happened before. I, bet, I don't have the book next to me, but I'm going to go out on a limb. Never happened before, unless they had a broken arm by their quarterback. <laughs> they called court right. and midden court basketball <laughs> court. They're all going different with directions. Oh. Maafala, and he breaks free. The big fella, rumbling down to the 37-yard line. Oh, he did a big play like this. He is bigger than the middle linebacker. Yerbeck actually overran it. And then from the secondary that time, the safeties had no chance. McTire tries a tackle, and then this guy is running as fast as a lot of guys in the secondary. What a, what a player. There's 641 left in the half. Give it to him again the other way. Uamatu Ma'afala down to the 31. And now the fans getting into it a little bit. It is third and three. Second man through, and he goes through for the first down inside the 25 to the 24. Ma'afala back in there on first down. He gets the toss sweep. Nope. Well, he bounced off, kept his balance, but he's going to lose yardage. Nice play by Byron Frisch, who hung in with the big fella. Expect Bounce is going to finally have to put one up here. Mike drops back and throws deep. Man there. Broken up. Good looking pass, but Ben Cook the nickel back. Five receivers, empty backfield except Fouts. Pooch pass inside, Dyson on the move. Cuts to the sideline, but well short of the first down. He's knocked out at the 21. And finally, Utah gets on the board. 20 to 3. Cougars lead, second down and 13. Sarkeesian wide open as McKenzie on the swing out of the backfield. Across the 30, out to the 34, and a first down. Jenkins, he's quick. Out to the 44, he can down and a yard. Little delay. Jenkins easily with the first down and all the way to the 48 yard line. Nice play fake by Sarkeesian, wants it all. Nice play defensively. Clarence Lawson on a man with tight end Neely. Third and long, Sarkeesian deep. Intended for Dyson waiting on it. Has to let it bounce in front of him. And they just get out of the way. It will roll down near the seven yard line. Got to look out on that island now for next week. With Juan Johnson on a little bit of a counter across the 10 out to the 12, and that's probably going to do it for the first half. The first half totally controlled by the Cougars of Brigham Young. They made the 
45 mile trip from Provo ready to play. Last year it was all Utah at halftime. They led 27 to 3 this time a year ago. BYU's turned the tables on them. 20 to 3. Cougars at half. If they start to spread it around from their own 20 yard line, they'll toss it to Mahapala. And Big Chris goes out for about eight. I admit you have to be able to run the ball, but I think you need to be balanced against this defense, and Utah has not done anything in the passing game. Oh, that was a collision. As Mahapala, now a late flag comes in. He was met in the hole by Ayu. Personal foul, BYU, first down. Now that's not a happy coach. Yeah, you do, especially when you got a team down, you really don't want to let them get back in the football game with a personal foul that came very, very late. You mentioned IU came around in a stunt and met Mahafala. How many times do you think he's been put down on his back like that outside of his brother, maybe? And Henry, the wide receivers. Fouts slip screen out to Dyson. Actually, cuts it outside instead. And Lane, who had that penalty call, just made a big-time tackle. And yeah. now he's talking a little trash as well. He got a legal hit that time, didn't he? Blitz coming. Nope, they back out of it. Mahafala goes head on with Shea Muirbrook who faked the blitz and then came in to plug the hole. What he can near the thing. Look at that. The submarine shot to go for the angle and knees. Fouts in trouble. Down he goes. Henry Bloomfield, second time he's gotten him today. End over end kick again. He keeps it away from him. The problem is kicked it out of bounds on a their own 26 yard line. McKenzie with over 100 yards in the first half will get the first carry of the third and he cuts outside. Brian McKenzie got the corner. All the way down to the 35 yard line before Clarence Lawson runs him out of bounds. Utah received an earful that they had to stop the run to win this game. BYU's first play won the ball inside. McKenzie breaks loose and again dominating this game in this football game. Yeah, that up to 152 on the day. Now it's Jenkins who just took his spot and Jenkins has a first down and a bunch more. Run out again and Lawson has to make the tackle again when your cornerback is having to save the day. You know it's not a good sign what they've done with their play selection. First down. Inside the 17. Here's Jenkins on a little delay. Ronnie Jenkins scoring. Quick in the hole and quick to the end zone. Number 16 goes 16 for the touchdown. Not much strategy in this game when you're able to run the ball between the tackles. This is similar usually to what a you know a big time team will do against a whack team when they get physical with the team. This is what BYU is doing with this game. They're just tougher up front and they really take on now. I think the a three right now. Mike Fox to throw. Almost intercepted again. Brad Martin, the linebacker. See the linebacker. BYU fakes the blitz. Here's a toss out. Kevin Dyson. Quite getting on their own 37. Fox looking left all the way. Has some time. Going long. Nice catch. Terrence Keyhan at the 19 yard line. Bounce hit before he can even get the handoff. Muirbrook flying in there to make the stop. Time right side. You can see the anticipation. And Bounce is very lucky he even held on to the football this time. Third down. Bounce quick slant. Complete Rocky Henry. Henry inside the 15. First backfield's even bigger now. Lapule in there to lead the way for Mafala. And he is in. Or is he? I thought he fell across the line. Did the ball not fall across? They got him just short. Mahapala buries himself inside this time for the touchdown. Inside to to the left. Bounce high snap. Has to gun it in a hurry. Rocky Henry got there. Crowd is into it for the huge defense now. Quick pass complete. Lewis the tight end. Bouncing off people and holding on for dear life. First down at the 35. He had enough. 
Jenkins in there, tailback. Don't toss it to him. Tremendous speed, and boy, he got to the corner in a hurry, and he got 11 and another first down. This guy's fast. He's fast, and he always falls forward, and fall forward has been the theme of this game for BYU. Look at the last two years, two games that BYU has lost, their rushing yardage. I think that's pretty obvious. You don't have to be a football expert to see what's the difference in this football game. By you backs with 100-plus games. Long handoff to Jenkins again. Got the corner again. Shows that 4-3 speed when he got out there, and he might have 10 more yards. Yeah, he's got a different gear all over. Sarkeesian, nice count there to force him in the neutral zone. Free play again. Throw complete to McGuire. Apple McGuire got hammered. It appeared to me that Brian McKenzie also moved on. Tight end out in the slot, but it's Jenkins coming back the other way. Inside the 25, got five more yards. Lusk knocked him out of bounds, getting 51 this year. And three more for the Cougars. The single setback. The throw screen to Dyson. Broke a tackle. And he's got a first down out to the 33. The 34. Mahabala puts his head down, puts a couple of defenders down, and only five to be exact on a second and three and toss. Uamatu Mahabala has got a first down at the 45 yard line. Bradford Fouts again. Muirbrook shows blitz, backs out of it this time. Fouts going to have to scramble. Mike on the run. Throws on the run. Nice catch by Keehan. Nice adjustment. BYU, and look at that time of possession. Though it has, that gap's closed a little bit now. And down at 13. Delayed blitz coming. Fox stands in. He's in trouble again. Throws. Mafala made a catch. Inside the 30. They got to have this one. Bounce. Dyson. Dyson with a catch. Tim McTire got all turned around. Just a BYU 19. Blitz coming. Fouts throwing a fade to Dyson. Got it. Touchdown. Five receivers. Fouts throws a slant. Not going to get there. Keyhand doesn't get close. BYU. The worst starting field position of the day for the Cougars. Their own 16, McKenzie. He changes the field position in a hurry, though. Yes. He ran right over Harold Lusk, Utah now. McKenzie's got the first down. Drags two would-be tacklers, including Jason Hooks. Again, can't stress enough how different this BYU team appears than I've ever seen it. They used to be one back, a two back, run a lot of lead draws, a lot of sweeps to the weak side. Now they're one back, they're offset. There's the BYU play selection. That is phenomenal. You never see that. Okay, offset on. To lead the way for McKenzie, go straight up the middle. Five and use it every second. Now that clock. Well, they do wrap it up here. This may or may not force a throw from BYU. And about a blitz. They'll bring it. Sarkeesian rolls away from it, though. Throws complete. Chad Lewis is tight end, and it's a first down Cougar. Not only that, but Robert Love, number roughing the passer, necessary roughness, number 85 of the defense. By Sarkeesian. They're Watch both chasing it. Lave, 35, I mean 85, and on the outside, Love, both hit Sarkeesian, shove him out of bounds as he crossed the line, and that's 15 yards. Let's see. Ronnie Jenkins takes it outside, and he's dropped for a loss. Nice open field tackle there by Brandon Dart. Sarkeesian using all that clock. Masterpiece by him today. Maybe had one bad pass, but he's done everything else right. Another nice... Open field stop by Dart. Good thing he did get off. High short kick, fair catch, taken. Bounce, quick throw off to Dyson. Yeah, Bounce is not trusting his protection right now. He's second down and ten. Bounce throws deep middle. Keyhan's got it. Ball came loose at the end, or did he ever catch it? No, he didn't. And 
got hammered by Eddie Sanchez. Three wide receiver group. Now here comes Beerbrook on the blitz. Bounce throws. Dyson catches. First down. Yes, he got it by a yard. And great timing there. Throws quickly, and that ball caught. Nope. Oh, and yeah, they call incomplete. You can see the ball. I, don't, I guess it was being juggled, but she... Third down and ten. Five wide receiver grouping again. Look out, Mike Fouts. Byron Thrish sacks him way back near the five-yard line. He didn't have anybody to throw the ball. It looked like even the snap. You could see it. Dyson is looking for the ball on the far side. Fouts didn't have anybody to go to him. It even looked here that the snap surprised him on that one. So, also for kicks. Dye lets it bounce. It takes a big BYU hop right in front of head coach Lavelle Edwards. Could be a learning lesson for them. Ronnie Jenkins goes down to the 32. We got on to Adrian. Well, as tough as you want if you're going up against a guy that weighs a little bit more than you and they got you going different directions. Jenkins and McKenzie have been a big difference, too. The football team, a lot of good football teams, but BYU has a good squad. Jenkins cuts outside. He would want to stay in bounds, I would think. He got the first down and then got hammered out of bounds. Into that upper echelon of the bowl picture. Jenkins, he's got 10 more. Or he's run out of bounds by Dave Richards. How BYU is thinking, hey, have we proved enough in this game? And what's going through their mind? They still have Wyoming in front of them. Airborne, Jenkins, touchdown. And a happy freshman running back in the end zone again, a three yard dive. He went, touchdown. he went airborne, but then he also put one of the landing gear down to get one more <laughs> little push there with his right left foot. And That's it said, where you, you want to have your chair, chair backs in the upright exactly. line position. And please put your tray tables up. Extra points good. 20 point game, BYU. Steve Sarkeesian has led the way, but his running attack has done the job. Who had over 2,100 yards his senior season in high school. Back out to Rocky Henry. That looked like a face mask at the end of the yeah, play, but I don't think he got a call. Yeah, Fouts on the quick throw. Get a bowl and eat three. Fouts. Trying to buy time, throws incomplete, and he got pressure again from Henry Bloomfield. They use might be their final snap offensively. Fouts stands in down the middle. It's broken up by Chris Ellison. And he says, nope, into a 12-yard McKenzie touchdown, and uh, the snowball was going in the direction of Provo at that point. And now the fullback, Dustin Johnson, number Johnson number gets in the act. He hasn't had a chance to carry it much today with the two tailbacks. And now late flag flies in again. Final minute. Second down at seven. Atuai puts both hands around the football, drags Harold Lusk with him for what looks like another first down. Oh, is it American Green? Capitalism, yeah. huh? I'd like to have the cap contract. <laughs> That's just about going to do it. Three straight Utah wins before today. This one belongs to the eighth-ranked Cougars, who will move up from that eighth ranking probably with a resounding win today. Lavelle Edwards walks across to Ron McBride. This one's over. BYU wins it. 37-17 is the final. Up next, the residents in college football scoreboard show. Right now for Adrian Karsten and Gary Danielson, I'm Brad Nessler. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. 37-17 Cougars as we send it to Mike Tirico. Brad, Gary, Adrian, thank you. They are going to Las Vegas in a couple of weeks for the first ever WAC championship game. It will be BYU-Wyoming. BYU snaps the three-game slide. And as the guys mentioned, when they heard the BYU sideline erupt when the Michigan-Ohio State score was announced, what will happen to BYU in the next couple of weeks? Can they get high enough to force their way into the Bowl Alliance?